Pirate Tower, hidden treasure of Victoria Beach. Parking along Pacific Coast Highway is recommended by me. The first step is to find these steps that lead to Victoria Beach. You will find the stairs to Victoria Beach at the intersection of Sunset Terrace and Victoria Drive. You will be walking through a neighborhood, so be respectful and use that indoor voice. Jeffrey's Travels! We're here at Pirate Tower, here at Victoria Beach in Laguna Beach. Now, standing a whopping 60 feet tall, Pirate Tower is the second most phallic symbol here on the beach today. We're gonna get up and close and personal. We're gonna educate you on all this and have a good time. Let's go. Well, I don't see any Marines protecting the area. If you're looking for photos of my feet, you can look at my OnlyFans account before it gets shut down. Now when you come here to Pirate Tower, there's a big circle little thing, and when the tide comes up, it fills with water. It's called the Mermaid Pool. Now, it is good to check when the tide is high, because when it's high, you can't access the tower. So make sure it's low. So Pirate Tower was built in 1926 for William E. Brown. William E. Brown and his family. Now the tower was originally built so that he can access the beach through a stairway which is inside the tower. So let's go ahead and check it out. See if we can find the staircase. Woo! You had one name to remember. That was it. Just, just the one. No, I, I remembered it. It took me a while. Come on. I didn't get paid enough for this shit. Action. Now, in the 1940s, the property was sold to a guy named Harold Kendrick, who was a naval officer back in the day. Now, this is where the Pirate Tower really gets its name because this guy used to invite children over to his property. He would hide little, little coins and like real money. He'd play scavenger hunts and play all these games with these kids. He also used to dress as a pirate just to kind of add more of the effect. I don't know why more men don't do that. Just invite kids to their property and give them cold hard cash and play games. It's, I think it's a good service. Don't worry, I'll have a talk with him later. What you, what you looking at there, Jeffrey? Well, we found the entrance to the tower. Now, it looks like it's sealed up. I think you need a key to get in. So it is not accessible to the public. But you can kind of look in there and imagine what it would be like to be in there. Let's get some raw footage of that stairway. Laguna Beach. You know, I heard, and this is just a rumor, that Oprah Winfrey once visited Laguna Beach. Of course, it's just a, it's just a tale they tell around here. 
but come on out, check out the Pirate Tower for yourself, and we'll see you next time on Jeffrey's Travels. Find a new camera girl. And now you go hand on your hip and pretend you're a beautiful mermaid. You have the hair, work the hair, work the hair. The hair is in the sun. Shake the head, shake the head. Yep, flap the flap. Yep, there you go. It's hard work being a mermaid. I'm gonna be honest, Mari. Uh. Black, not your color. You shouldn't wear black. It okay. just doesn't it doesn't compliment you. Neither does white. What does compliment me? Besides myself. Like a peach? A peach? I can see you wearing peach. Yeah, wear peach from now on. But I like nectarines better. I'm gonna go back to your feet. Okay. <laughs>